How are you doing today, folks? So I'm coming to you live with a uh, mop top because I don't feel like combing my hair right now. So I wanted to talk to y'all about a kind of a, an idea I, I've been thinking about. So there's a lot of people out here that don't have decent knives or don't have a knife at all or don't really understand you know, the joy of having a quality piece. Um, the holidays are coming up. So I want you to you know, try to find someone that doesn't have anything. Now I'm going to ask for proof because I've done this before and I've sent $200 knives to people thinking it's their first knife and I find out later on they're funding full customs and trying to recoup profits. I don't play that shit. You know, I don't hate these people. You know, I always say I love this community and I genuinely do. So I still love those people. I love them a little less, just, just a little bit if they wouldn't do shady shit. Um, I'm really trying to help out, again, just the lesser community members that don't have a lot, or if they happen to love this hobby but can't afford it. You know, let's get the uh, m -techs out of their hands. Let's get the TAC forces out of their hands. Let's get something decent there. That's not possibly going to uh, cut their fingers off because the locks fail. Um, I'm thinking between, you know, let's go 75 to 200. Um, I'm gonna pick out five people um, that are just, you know, again, just kind of broke. Um, I have talked to people on Discord, some other folks as well. Uh, this is going to be for the holidays. Now, this is, again, this is um, October 21st, I think. Uh, might be 22nd. Don't quote me. Um, <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, so this is going to be something that happens probably in mid-December, right? But plenty of time to, you know, find someone... Maybe there's somebody you want to give a gift to that you just don't have enough money. You know, I, I, you have a, a kid nephew or whatever that you want to get them something decent, but you just don't have it. I'm trying to bless the community members that don't have anything. Specifically, the ones that don't have anything or, again, have those really low-quality, frankly dangerous knives that I'm pretty sure we all started with. Um, I started off with an old Buck 110 and then got a I, f I forgot what it was it was some gas station knife it was like neon green kind of like nick shabazz's z hunter but worse if you can believe that uh and let's just not let's not do that to our community members <laughs> let's find something better than that uh so as always please like and subscribe to the uh well like the video comment the video subscribe to the content please Hi. Kitten is screaming, so getting in the video. Hi. Um, let's really try to make someone's holiday. You know, again, let me know. Again, I'm gonna ask for proof because I've been burned before, but uh, you know, let's let's really try to just make this something special. Um, no raffles, no nonsense, like whatever the best story is, whatever the most dire situation is is going to uh, you know win, so to speak. And we'll get that whole thing started. Um, I've ran a little bit long for the whole intro of this video, but without further ado, please enjoy the content. As always, I love you all so much and enjoy, hopefully. If not, well, eh, at least you got to see the mop head. How you doing today, folks? So today, we've got another unboxing oh wait no we don't because this is how it came to me now i'm not trying to make fun of anybody i understand mistakes happen so the person who i bought this from is a subscriber i'm not trying to harp on you man just want to let the whole community know that it's really important that you tape up your packages now, does somebody get in here trying to steal it? Possibly. Did it just get damaged in transit and happen to pop open? Possibly. Either way, this is a very expensive piece and it was almost lost. It's also a one of a kind piece, so I would have been sad. Really, really sad. And I've lost pieces before in the mail and, uh, and for the most part, I compensate fully. So I would have been out several hundred dollars as well as a knife. 
But what we have here is a extremely customized, essentially full custom Emerson Commander. So this is customized by a man and or group named Farrick. I actually don't know, so I'm not trying to misquote or misrepresent anybody. It's also reground by Kirin, Karin, I don't know how you say that. Uh, it has these extra thick, fat liners. This is OD Green Micarta. Also very fat, creates this very solid hand filling feel, which to be honest, most people will probably hate this knife. It is really, really thick. This is one of the thickest knives I own, which is the uh, Custom Knife Factory Muscle. It is thicker than the muscle. You can't, you can't quite tell here, but it's definitely, you know, it's bigger than the muscle. It's, it's insane. I'm sorry for the edit, folks. So, brief little story time. That kitten that keeps popping up on my videos I rescued him from a lawnmower. He was curled up in the actual blades themselves, trying to keep warm. Um, man, thank God I'm a paranoid person and I always look underneath the lawnmower to make sure there's no sticks or anything like that that might chip a blade. Um, and there happened to be a, a kitten there. Uh, anyways, said kitten just, uh, I actually really love this kitten but he just has this habit of leaping and clawing down my legs and or back whenever I'm recording. In this case, I happened to be sitting in this wicker chair and he climbed up said wicker chair. Somehow I didn't hear him, I don't even know how, and he leaped into my hair, yanked everything back. My scalp is literally bleeding right now. I am having a bad night. <laughs> I know he means well, man, but oh my god, this kitten has so much energy. I don't even remember where I was at, so I'm just going to start talking about the width of this knife again. So, it is, again, thicker than the muscle. Not by all that much, but it's it's thicker. And this is a very big, thick, hefty, heavy knife. Uh, this is also a pretty heavy knife. It's not all that big, though. You know, it's, again, off of an Emerson Commander, which is, I think, a 3.6-inch blade uh, with this... Wow, that's really reflective. That is blinding me. Um, which has this, uh, you know, recurve Emerson style. It is really sharp. I'm not even touching the edge. I'm just kind of close to it. And I just skinned my finger. Holy crap. I've heard some stories about the uh, Karen or Green or well, whatever, the regrind guy. Um, I have held some of his stuff, but I never actually messed with the actual blade itself, and it is ridiculously sharp. Anyways, um, per Emerson's usual thing, this is 154cm steel. Um, he does that because this is, by all means, a combat knife. And in a combative situation, and the happen to be out in the shit, you know, desert, freaking military, out in the middle of the woods, whatever you want to, you know, wherever you want to think about, you know, to be able to field sharpen, you know, M390 or whatever, man, good luck. You can very easily field sharpen 154CM. Um, I have many times. It's also one of the reasons why it's my favorite steel. Uh, super steels are awesome, but when they go dull, it is a pain in the ass. 154cm, it's it holds its edge for quite a while. Um, Emerson's have excellent heat treat, and it's really easy to sharpen. Like, really, really easy to sharpen. Um, so, again, by all means, a combat knife. Uh, it does have this Emerson Wave feature, which allows us to rock it out of your pocket. <laughs> Rocket pocket. Um primary opening mechanism is this thumb disc. It's very smooth. You know, I'm not really a huge fan of just doing it like that. You know, I will uh, I'll just flick it. Ah. One second. Okay, I can do it off camera. I can't do it on camera. Let's try this again. Ah, 
a little bit. All right, so it definitely does require, at least for me and for right now with my uninitiated hands for this knife, uh, a bit of a wrist flick. Um, doesn't really bother me. Again, if it's a, uh, you know, the primary opening method for this knife is it hooks onto the pocket and it comes flying out. It's really effective. Um, I actually carried an Emerson for a couple of years, almost every day. Uh, one of my first knives on a gad on a, after I graduated from the gas station knife was in Kershaw Emerson. Um, and uh, yeah, man, they had a, it, it works out very well. I also had a Mall Ninja stage where I carried around a Karambit. It's a uh, Fox 479 Karambit with an Emerson Wave on it, and it, it definitely deploys. I'm very glad I've grown out of that stage. <laughs> um, so let's get a couple size comparisons in. Let's start off with that one where the thickness is just about spot on, which is the CKF Muscle. So as you can see, the muscle is definitely bigger. The handle extends way past this piece. You know, the blade starting right here, which is in the middle of the handle, and it's still going slightly past where the Emerson sits. Um, the muscle is definitely a bigger knife, but just again, just how fat the scales are, which again, creates a very kind of rugged, good to go feel. Like this is, this is locked in. You know, just an example. This is me trying everything I can to pull this out. It ain't going nowhere. If I push forward, because of the way the choils, this uh, choil, this uh, grip sits, even pushing forward, I'm not going anywhere. You know, the majority of knives you'll push forward and they might lock you in, you know, when you pull outwards, but as soon as you push down, you slide right up onto the blade. Which is why everybody always says if you want to go into a reverse grip, you know, you need to definitely cap the end. Uh, if you want to go into reverse grip for this, I would, again, definitely cap the end, but uh, it's also not going anywhere if you just didn't want to. Um, so, definitely very good to go for combat. If that is your thing, it's not mine. I'm going to combat some boxes, maybe uh, see you see some cellophane. You know, I'm a, I'm a real tough guy. So this is the Benchmade full-size Griptilian. As you can see, this is a big knife. It's not huge. The Super Commander is much bigger than that. And there's all other knives by Emerson that are bigger than that. But, uh, you know, it's definitely a bigger knife. This is pretty much perfect for what I want in my, in my knife. I'm actually already extremely happy with this. Cannot wait to start carrying this and take some pictures. As soon as this video is done, I'm going to photograph some stuff. I'm actually going to use a decent camera for once and see if I can't capture something cool. So, this is the uh, PM2. Again, it's a modified PM2, but it's still the same generalized dimensions as a regular PM2. Quite a bit bigger, quite a bit thicker, you know, wider in the scales, way thicker in the handle um, than a PM2. Because it's my channel throw out a Paragon Knives Warlock. Love this knife. Definitely, the Warlock is a bit bigger. The uh, blades are just about, you know, again, the blade starts right here for this, so. But there's definitely a different decent piece off the end of it. Switch the aspect ratio up. Yeah, the Warlock is a, is a huge knife. Not huge, that's not good. Uh, but definitely a big knife. Did I damage anything? I did not. Thank God. That would have sucked. Uh, today's EDC, which is the Artisan Cutlery Tradition in Copper. A couple subscribers pointed out that how can you review other knives when all you do is carry the TRM Atom? That is a fair point. So I've started carrying other things and the Atom rotates in twice a week, which makes me sad because everything I carry is not quite as slicey or not quite as sleek or not quite as, I don't know, sexy, I guess, as the Atom. But uh, this is a great knife. Uh, so this is a big knife by any stretch of the imagination. And it is also bigger than the Emerson. Not by much. They are very, very similar um, in terms of size, but this is just a little bit bigger. So, 
So in terms of these scales, again, this is a, a micarta. It is an, an excellently textured micarta. It feels like G10. That's the best way I can put it. It feels like Spyderco's kind of textured G10, but you know, I've seen the paperwork and everything else that this is micarta. And it is incredible. Um, this ferret person who you know customized this, I, I'm gonna have to look into them and see if you can't do some stuff for me. Normally all my scales I have done by Shepard uh, CC, um, Shepard Custom Creations, shout out to him. Great guy, amazing work. Uh, takes a while to get his stuff done, but that's because it's quality. But anyways, these scales are amazing. Um, we have all flat head construction, so you can pretty much, you know, take it apart with a coin if you want to. Um, I probably will not take this apart, except for cleaning every now and again. But just a beautiful knife. Really, really a beautiful knife. Um, it came, obviously, with this skull lanyard. I'm not sure if that's something that used to be in the eyes or that's just how they are. It's uh, it's interesting. But the, the knot is just freaking impeccable. Whoever tied this is, you know, they definitely know their shit way more than I do. My lanyards are terrible. But uh, you know, just a really, really good knife. I, I keep trying to think of other things to say about it, man. But like I just keep on saying that it's just a good knife. <laughs> Oh yeah, here's something. Um, the backspacer has this kind of, you know, it's slightly raised, it's very textured. Um, this might actually be, oh it is, that is crazy. Why it doesn't push out when you push in forward. Because this traction piece locks onto your palm and just doesn't go anywhere. Like right now, you know, my thumb's right here. I'm trying very hard to push up on it. You know, you can see how much force is actually being applied. It's not going anywhere. Um, that hurt. <laughs> you can see the little traction pad. Uh, so this is a very interesting backspacer, very functional backspacer. I'm gonna have to talk to the guy who uh, who sold me this because this is really, really combat orientative. Uh, again, I've been practicing martial arts, Kali, and some other self-defense stuff for a, a pretty long time. And a lot of this stuff are things you wouldn't really think about in terms of a knife unless it was very, very, you know, combat orientated. And there's a lot of details in this that, man, somebody really knew what they were doing. You know, again, Emerson's are combat knives, but this is, you know, this is just basically an Emerson blade. Everything else on this is custom. I also want to point out, Again, combat knife. Look at this lockup. Normally you get about 30% um, for a uh, liner lock. Even a frame lock, honestly, about 30% is the average. This goes way the hell over. This isn't going anywhere. It also takes a decent amount of force to disengage that. And then it slides shut. It does not drop shut. I wouldn't really want it to drop shut, honestly. Um, but it's very smooth. Like, this is just absolute butter. This is a beautiful piece. I am honored to have this in my collection, and I can confidently say I don't think I will ever sell this. I can also confidently and very hopefully say I will never have to use this in combat to test the features here, but... Uh, Man, if I ever did, this thing is really good to go. That pocket clip, it's so cool. Everything really just flows together so nicely. So that is the Emerson Commander. Uh, let's just call it a full custom. That's really what it is, man. There's almost nothing here you're just gonna find on a regular Emerson. Customized by Ferric with a, I'm just gonna say Karen. Just with a Karen regrind, and uh, it is it is just beautiful. This is also sharp. It's not really sharp. Like I can do this and not cut myself, but I can definitely feel the tooth on that. Wow, that's, that's dangerous. Let's look at this real quick. <laughs> yeah, that is so dangerous. <laughs> Again, it's not really sharp enough to really easily cut. I mean, I'm rubbing my hand up and down with no issue. But you can really feel that it's designed that if you want to sharpen this, you definitely can. 
And because of just the way it all swedges together and apexes, this will be an absolutely killer piercer. Yeah, I'm just barely touching this and I can feel it going in. That is crazy. Anyways, I'm gonna cut it here. As always, I love you all so very much. Thank you so much for your time, your blessings, your goodwills, your messages, um, the sales I've made on this channel, the friends I've made on this channel, uh, Jade Schaefer, Flint Still Survival, uh, Best Damn e EDC, uh, Taylor Martin, can't talk apparently, I just stuttered for like a solid three seconds straight. Anyways, Best Damn EDC, Taylor Martin, all the friends on Discord. I talked to probably about 80 people today a day that are subscribers to this channel man and i love you all you are my friends you are my comrades my colleagues in this whole different community and I, I i love it so as always please do me a personal favor and just be nice to each other if someone's pissing you off somebody does you wrong if somebody's you know let's just say a, a really hyper example Man, I see a lot of people who get robbed on the secondary market and they absolutely rave. They post personal addresses and everything else. I challenge you to forgive them, to understand that they are in their own situation as much as it might suck to have somebody hurt you, that to forgive, to forget, and to love, and to be better than that person and to show what this community is, which is a bunch of, frankly, badasses, mall ninjas, cutlery enthusiasts you know just the, the names can go on and on and on but they all mean one thing they all mean community they all mean fellowship they all mean this crazy knife guy girl person hobby thing that we love that we spend well i spend thousands of dollars on people spend way more than i spend they also spend way less than i spend but we all love it you know it all means something to us so let's be a part of that let's love everyone to welcome everyone let's be above all the petty drama the games and the nonsense you know well, we're better than that so just do me a favor man and love each other period simple done with the preaching love each other it encompasses everything love one another thank you so much for your time again please like and subscribe to the content my DMs on Instagram are always open. I'm more than happy to talk to you. I'm also on the Best Damn EDC uh, Discord server. I do have my own Discord server, but I'm almost never on it, so hit me up on there. I'm always happy to talk to you guys. I am always happy to talk to you guys. Take care. Love you all so much. Bye.